and welcome back to part 10 of What If Naruto Had Gained One For All. Last time, Naruto returned from his training year, train trip with Jiraiya. On a power scale, Naruto theoretically could be in the Kage. It's at least a, it's at least a discussion you could have right now that Naruto, with all the quirks now of One For All at his disposal, plus the training he has, plus excess the amount of chakra he has, the level of control, which isn't perfect, but it's the level of control he has over Kurama. An argument could be made that he could be a Kage, because theoretically, he could be anyone in the village given the right circumstances. But that's a that's a semantics question. Still, he came back, they went, rescued Gar, they did, but now darkness looms on the horizon. As Naruto and the gang arrive back to the village after their mission, uh, they are catching up with Tsunade. Tsunade gives them leave. They are also told about the mission, to, or about uh, the information they were given by Sasori to go meet the informant from Orochimaru, we know it to be Kabuto. Now, they are not going because there's no reason for them to go. Sasuke is still a target. Uh, Sasuke, well, there's no need to try to rescue Sasuke because he's still there. Uh, so, yeah, they're like, all right, don't worry. I'm going to give this uh, give this mission to some of my best. Um, so go and just take some time for yourselves. You, you'll be called again when needed. And so they all go. They, they go out and just enjoy their time together. And as they're going out, uh, they're meeting, you know, old faces, including a blonde man who, uh, who admittedly says, uh, and who says, Naruto, it's good to see you again. And he looks at him and he recognizes the hairstyle. He recognizes, at least in form, Toshinori, All Might. But he notes that he's a lot more, he's not more near as gaunt. He's nowhere near as sickly looking as he is. In fact, he looks kind of like a regular guy to, in Mangers. Maybe a little bit more angular than most guys, but still. A lot more, a lot more, he doesn't look like All Might, but he looks a little bit, a lot closer to like what he did in his early 20s before he got one for all. At least I think that's when he got, when the transfer was done. Uh, kind of, we know what All Might looked like as like a teen. And he looked mostly like a regular individual. Relatively athletic, but no quirk, we know that. Um, still, he looks closer to that, just an older version of that. He's like, wow, All Might, you look great, huh? <laughs> Uh, th uh, thanks a lot, kid. Oh, it's, it's good. I haven't seen you. I was out on a mission. I only just got back. Uh, I've been thanks to the medical attention that your uh, that your village was able to provide. I really was able to stabilize the injury I was sustained in my fight. And now I can now I look all, now I'm in a lot better shape. Uh, I can even maintain my powers for a lot longer now. Not granted. When I say maintain, every time he uses his powers, it's waning because he no longer has it. But that being said. He's able to now stabilize to the point where he can do sustained combat activities for about an hour now. And the amount of burnout he's getting from it has lessened. So, like, every... He's probably lo losing, like, 30 seconds every time he uses it. But he's... If he uh, if he goes... It prolongs it beyond that 30 seconds. Uh, then... Uh, or beyond that uh, hour he has. Then it starts to run down the time. Where right now... He's right, I might have said earlier it was like something close to an hour. We'll just say because he stabilized by, it's about an hour now. And every time, it's cycling down about 30 seconds every time he uses it. And if he goes further, it goes faster. But yeah, it's like, yeah, that's uh, good. I can't wait to hear about your exploit. But right now, I gotta go visit the Hokage, if that's all right. Oh, of course, all my. Kakashi, good to see you again. Uh, and you too. Hope you guys have got... You guys have all gotten so strong. I'm proud of you. I don't look to see you later, All Might, because they know him as All Might. Like, even though he's Toshinori, he started that at that. He let them know, no, I was known by another name. It was All Might. And see, so he goes, like, you want to see me, Lady Okage? Oh, yes, I just wanted to uh, clear up that mission you were on. And they're talking. And as Naruto and the, his Team 7 are leaving, the two elders show up. It's like, Tsunate, we need to talk. Uh, and... Uh, and they, she gets to say, uh, fine, but, yeah, uh, Toshinori will be, uh, uh, will be accompanying me. I think Toshinori, well, he's, this really isn't up for his, up, uh, this really isn't a matter of his concern. Actually, it has a little bit to do with him. And so, mm -hmm. uh, and so they go in and they explain how we do not want you sending Naruto out of the mission. He's the presage in Turkey. Someone brought up that they, the village elders never hated Naruto, uh, that, uh, and that's kind of true, but they didn't really see him as a person. They saw him as the container of the Nine Tails. Like, we cannot lose our Nine Tail Beast. We cannot lose our Jinjuriki. 
they didn't see him as Naruto, but they didn't, you're right, they, you're not wrong, they didn't really hate him, uh, they're just like, they were very old school minded, is what it was, uh, uh, it, with all the respect, when you have someone as powerful as Naruto, that's uh, not uh, the wisest move, no, <laughs> with all the respect, Toshinari, you're only here because Lady Tsunari, see, uh, was insistent you be here. I don't really think this uh, level. Uh, I don't really think you are have much to say. I know you're fond of the boy, but you really don't uh, have uh, say uh, have much say in village matters when it comes to things like this. To which Nard, uh, all might just fires back. Actually, I do, seeing as I'm the one who granted him the powers that he uh, since he uh, he was granted his powers by me. Uh, he is he's the next generation um, user of uh, of my powers. Like, excuse me, your powers. And Tsunade probably has known about this. She probably did tell her about this. And so uh, she explains like, yeah, and she explains the reason Naruto progressed as much as he did is because All Might gave him this, his powers. He transferred those powers to him. And so, and he's grown leaps and bounds. Actually, I can't, I, I can't wait when this uh, is done, uh, when this conversation is done to go talk to him, see how much he's progressed from the little bit they told me about their mission. It seems it uh, seems he really has grown over Jiraiya. Um, be that as it, and they're just like, how strong has he gotten? Be that as it may, we are still within our rights, uh, entitled to be putting an extra member on the team. Uh, what do you have in mind? Donzo? It's, uh, it's like, you can come in now, and there comes Donzo coming in. It's like, Donzo, yes, Lady Sunate. I am, uh, the, you, as the Elder said, we have our own rights, and you'll be putting a member of my, uh, of my root under <laughs> Uh, you'll be putting a ninja of my own recommendation uh, under there. And to which Tsunade kind of smir uh, smirks. He's like, are you sure about that? To which Donzo does look up at us. Uh, it's like, mm, and kind of goes, uh, you Toshinori. It's like, Donzo, I don't think uh, we'll be letting uh, him put any ninja on Team 7 with Naruto. Oh, wait, what What happened? Uh, oh, did he, <laughs> to which all my kind of gets a little smirk. It's like, did he not tell you? <clears throat> he just, he, oh, Donzo's just eating. Flashback to All Might just kind of going through the village, just what happened during the three year time skip. Uh, and he's now stable, he's just kind of walking. He's like, oh, good to see you. Yep. And be, one of the things All Might has also gained is some ninja. He's actually gained access to channeling his chakra because everyone actually has chakra in the Naruto world. It's just a matter of accessing it in the ninja perspective, uh, in the ninja way. And All Might, through training, did learn to finally access his chakra. Nothing of man, he probably has a decent reserve. Uh, and it probably grows when he actually activates his strength, but he doesn't normally, well, that's the best way to put it. He's not going around, like, throwing out the insane Edo Tenseis, right? No, he can use some basic ninjutsu, but he's using his chakra, he's using his chakra more conjunction with his abilities. Uh, as such, he pauses, and he just suddenly, got, uh, suddenly just increases in size, like, are you folks, are you gentlemen going to stay there all day, or are you going to come out? And there are root ninja there. It's like, so, what can I do for you? Uh, you, uh, you're from Kona, I see, but you, uh, but I don't remember the Ambu ever been needing to uh, follow me around. So who exactly are you? It's like, you'll be coming with us. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm afraid that's not how questions and answers work, young man. It's like, and they quickly just come and just, <laughs> it's like almost in slow motion as, uh, as Alma just, boom, just flexes and there's just, wind, like, ah, did he just flex and he just, did he just, was that wind jutsu? It's like, nope, that's just the sheer power of all might. Boom, just basically by flexing gusts of wind at them until they're all kind of down on the ground. It's like, oh, well then. And it's like, so do you all have to tell, you'll, you're going to be telling me everything I want to know. I will never betray him, my master, never. Uh, master, it's like, you already have. It's like, uh, have. I cannot. No, I literally cannot. <laughs> Lord Donzo put this to us. See that I talk. We cannot reveal anything about him. To which Tosanara to to just looks like, you told me his name. <laughs> and he's just, you know, oh. <laughs> they all kind of like, shit. <laughs> because they, uh, so then. He just, boom, doo, doo. let's see what the Hokage and Ibiki has to say about this come back to the present, and uh, the, the elder's like, Donzo, did you, <clears throat> he was a stranger, and we'd have, I'd be no, keeping a track, I keep a track on strangers, it was no coincidence, he admitted, didn't he, it was no coincidence the boy started to improve since his arrival, it's like, <laughs> be that, to which Sudan, just kind of like, be that as it may, you had no right to attacking a, a village, a member of the village, 
Uh, so, with all due respect, Great Elders, I don't believe I can trust Donzo's pick for my uh, for Team 7. And the Elders, unfortunately, are like, unfortunately, Donzo, she has a point. Uh, you had to go and embarrass us, didn't you? And I was like, mm, I'll take my leave. And Donzo, we'll be having a conversation about that organization of yours. Mm. <laughs> it's like, blasted slug princess. In his head, he's saying that. Uh, well, now, that's all well and good. I'm going to go catch up with my young Naruto and see how well he's improved. <laughs> he just kind of, I'll see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, and she just kind of smirks at him. I don't, by the way, I don't, I, in an alternate scenario, I could totally see All Might and Tsunade hooking up, honestly, because they're actually roughly about the same age. We know All Might's actually in his 50s. So, in fact, he might actually be older than uh, Tsunade, now that I think about it. We don't have an exact age. I don't think we have an exact age on them, do we? I mean, you know, I'm going to look that up right now. I don't think we have an exact age on All Might, but I will find that out right now. Meanwhile, you know, Team 7, that's kind of split up. Naruto's kind of just, uh, you know, walking around, meeting people. He's met, uh, you know, Team A, seen Kiba, you know, you know. Okay, they say All Might's about 55 plus, so there is not an exact age. We know he's older than 55, though, which means he is actually older than Tsunade. Um... Whatever, she could she could be down with some older man. Um, it, come on. Okay, why is this thing being so weird right now? Okay, no, we're good. My, my computer, my OBS is just being weird. But, uh, yeah, All Might's over 55 years old. Anyway, um, and, you know, but no, I don't see her actually uh, going towards... Um, uh, going towards All Might, uh, she, I still think she only has eyes for Dawn, and she developed eyes for, uh, for Jiraiya later on. I do believe... I think it's pretty, it's been pretty apparent, though never outright stated, that yeah, she probably would have, you know, been with Jiraiya afterwards. That she did ultimately grow to legit love him. Anyway, I digress. So, Naruto is just traveling around, meets up with, hey, Shikama, Naruto, you're back. Uh, oh, no, Naruto, hey, there you are. Uh, and, um, and oh, Naruto, Shikama said you were back. Hey, Joji, you're looking great. Uh, I bet you've got near and then obviously uh, both it's Shikamaru or Choji Shikamaru and this time Naruto because of danger sense because you look even when and Naruto just you know blah, blah, breaks it apart just like Choji does it's like so they're being attacked by Sai not real Sai not realizing not good don't do that no you're now attacking without or you're attacking on orders but uh, unfortunately this was all under the idea that you were going to be on Team Seven so. <laughs> not good <laughs> so yeah naruto and naruto shikamaru and choji are uh, have to go fight the inklings naruto quickly just rushes in there like speed wise he can blitz through these guys no problem and sai sees this and quickly has to get out of the way instead of blocking naruto which he's told naruto's strength is not something to mess with he, he's just Phew! and he kind of uses an ink clone but naruto just breaks it with black whip or uses some ink, I should say, and he first breaks it with Black Whip. He gets caught by Shikamaru briefly, but ultimately gets out of there. They are given, they, and so Team 7 is just told that, uh, is, is made aware of what happened. Tsunade's made aware of what happened, and she just, hmm. Sounds like this would have been Donza's work. He was, they, the elders were trying to get him to play the new member on your team, ultimately to keep an eye on you, Naruto. Oh yeah, me what? Oh, that really? Yes, but but unfortunately, due to an incident with Toshinori a few years back, we had a little bit of a trump card over Donzo, so that won't be a problem. He's like, I'll tell you, the trump? What happened? How about I tell you about it over some ramen, kid? We can catch up finally. Awesome ramen! <laughs> See, you know, I just wanted to let you all know, you're dismissed. You guys want to come? He's like, man, like, yeah, we, we, we can eat. And so they're going there, and Tosh, and you know, they're relay. He's relaying his story. His train trip, all what, all that happened over the years. Keep in mind, it have, I didn't bring it up, but Naruto does not have elemental release yet. By the way, that's still something Naruto needs to train. In. Uh, so, which gives Naruto some time to you know do do some training um, during the uh, during the arc where she would be doing training. <clears throat> uh, and and All Might is just kind of like sitting there and just kind of spoons actually falling. like, "You're joking! You you have you accessed all six form users' quirks? Amazing! What what and I only knew about, uh, I mean, technically he had to do research, but he only knew about four of them. What were the other two? And he explains the other two. Um, and Sasuke and Sakura and even Kakashi are there, and you know, they're eating, and 
they're overhearing what Naruto's saying, and they're hearing some of what he can do now. Like, they hear the uh, the smoke screen ability. He's like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Well, we've seen the black up. Then they hear about the what the gear ship, which is what he briefly used. It helped Sasuke kill Sasori. And then they hear about Fajin. It's like, wait, what? It's like, yeah, uh, yeah, Fajin. Oh, yeah, it's like this super powerful storing quirk. It's kind of like a... Actually, when you think about it, it really is a bit like a, like a very, very, very... Um, mild version of one for all because you store energy in you and then you unleash the power the difference is, is that you have a consistent amount of power with one for all it's stored over generations and just building whereas Fajin, you have to work on it it's only for quick bursts it's actually more equivalent to like a kaioken really um and someone did bring up and i think you are right that the Kaioken, the Fajin quirk needs to be activated for the storage effects and then the rep uh, repetition motion I was using my little examples that I knew weren't quite uh, there. But to be fair, we have no idea if Fajin as a quirk ever awoken. In theory, the awoken version of Fajin could act that way. And so, yeah, either way, Naruto, uh, Naruto would actually start some training with, Nar uh, with Kakashi because I think at some point it gets brought up that he hasn't done elemental training yet. It's like, that's right. We never did get around to it. Kakashi, could you show me? I suppose I could. Uh, I suppose I could, Naruto. And so, uh, they begin elemental training, and Naruto gets it down very quickly. They would learn about the death of Azuma, uh, which would have, nothing would change there. Uh, and they hear about it, and they want to go help, but Naruto has, still hasn't quite gotten the Rasen Shuriken down, or Wind Rasengan down yet. Or at least, let me rephrase that. We know he had the Wind Rasengan down. He doesn't have the Wind Rasen Shuriken down yet. And... No, oh, is pop up? Is Grandpa home? Pop up? No, I don't hear you know, run, uh, tearing up the door yet, so I can keep going. Um, sorry, I heard my dog go to the door. So that's what he would be spending, focusing a lot of his time doing. Having Black Whip though does help because, as I said, because it is energy, it can contain other different energy, like chakra, for example. So that's how Naruto initially was able to use the one hand Rasengan. He had to use uh, Black Whip to help him, but now he can. He's probably learned how to do it on his own. Create the Big Ball Rasengan. And, see, the Windrush Sengon we know Naruto ultimately did learn to use after, uh, on his own, because his shock control at that point was just insane. I don't think he can do, you can do a one-handed Windrush Sengon Shuriken at this point in time. I think, though, you can use this second hand to add the Wind Chakra Voice Crane to Rasengan. I think that's doable. Uh, honestly, the reason I think Naruto even had to use the clone to begin with, with, um... The two clones was because he needed a clone to help make the Ross Sengon. He couldn't do it on his own um, with his one hand. That's why he needed the extra clone. Without the need of the extra clone, you only need one clone then for the wind uh, chakra. Um, and technically, you only don't even need the one clone. You just need the wind chakra created with the other hand. And then if he needs to help contain it still, he can use the black whip. And then he uses the wind Ross uh, the wind, uh, the Ross and shuriken, and he creates it by the time... They need to go and fight the Demon Brothers. Now, the difference, though, is I could actually see Naruto being able to throw a Windrush and Shuriken because he has Black Whip. Because he can, can use the energy. And pretty much almost yo-yo. I didn't even think about that until just now. Like, I knew he'd probably be able to use it with Black Whip. It would take a lot of control, though. Luckily, the Black Whip doesn't need Chakra, so that's at least a little benefit. But still, that's going to take a practice hand. And I don't think he'd figure it out initially. It would be after the, if he uses it the first time it screws his arm up. But that being said, I can totally see with training him using it like a yo-yo and just like a bu like a buzzsaw yo-yo Ross and Shuriken. That is a fun concept. And using multiple and just boing, 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 boing. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> and maybe I'll do that later. Um, I didn't even think about that until just now. Um, uh, mostly, but by, by and by, yes, normally I have the stories mapped out. Sometimes I'll rain of thought because the man, I'm like, oh, that's, that needs to be done. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, but Naruto and the team seven would show up to a team 10. Kakashi would have, um, joined them regardless, uh, team 10, uh, just to help them out. Sasuke probably leads team seven when there's no Kakashi around because he is probably the only joining in the group because Sasuke probably isn't perfectionist in that regard. And they're they're going up against Kakashi, and Naruto says he wants to try his new technique out. Difference here is he gets it in the one because he can quickly just just land a shot on Kakuzu in just a blinding flash and just 
boom, Ross and Shuriken in. Unfortunately, his arms get hurt. Um, but he's good. And Kakakuzu goes down. Despite being the thumbnail, it's a good thumbnail, I think. I didn't make it, obviously. It's from the show. Uh, they play very little factor into this. Uh, but I didn't really have a good idea for a thumbnail dealing with the bulk of the beginning, where it was actually more of the story part of it. Naruto is busy recovering. Sakura, uh, Sakura offers to feed him. It's, uh, and she does, because Sai isn't here, because Sai has not bonded with the group at all. In fact, Sai is actually not a player in this version. I mean, he's there, but he's not a member of Team 7. And he doesn't get that bonding experience with Team 7 uh, or any of that. Sasuke, though, yeah, he's good. And so, as always... We cut, we end really with the the Raven in the night. Sasuke wakes up. Now, I have not established any relationships here, and I still don't think I will have. I've always there was one. There's actually been a several, but the first time I did it, I think I had paired him with Tamari, and not Tamari, sorry, Ten Ten of all people. And I always liked the concept because they're they're in their teens, which legal in Japan, but also they're old enough to kill, old enough to die, old enough to have sex. Uh, I always like the idea that, you know, he wakes up in the middle of the night, he's got whoever his lover is sleeping next to his bed, they probably had, they probably had made love that night, we're sleeping, he wakes up, and then he goes out to his balcony and just kind of looks out into the night, and just kind of brings it in the air, and just taking it, he sees maybe a raven flying in the night, and then he sees another, he sees several. Now granted, they're crows, I should say they're crows, not ravens, but still, I like the idea of a, not a crow in the night, that doesn't sound as poetic, but a raven in the night sounds very poetic. And then the Ravens, ooh, sometimes I have a, I've changed my mind about something right now. Sometimes I have just, like, I have a scroll. Why? Maybe the Ravens kind of manifest into a Genjutsu version of Itachi saying, like, you little bro. Because he knows Sasuke is, his brother is not hell-bent on I me. Mean, he wants his revenge, but he's not lost. He's not broken or anything. And so he actually has to go out of his way to call Sasuke to him. And he does. He says, if you want, or, uh, I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you all the secrets you need to know, little brother. You can have your final chance. Uh, if you're wondering why, it's, it's very simple. I'm dying. The cho uh, I believe they say it was a chakra illness or a tubercul. No, it wasn't a chakra illness. It was like tuberculosis or something like that. It was some sort of disease similar to tuberculosis because he was coughing up blood uh, quite a bit, actually. Um, I know, I know I brought it up before about what, what disease did Itachi have? Let's, I'm going to just Google that for our last bit. And so he gets the mess, Sasuke gets the message and he has to think, he has a choice. What do I do? Would Itachi, Itachi's disease or illness, let's say illness. Illness. Okay. There we go. Illness. What did Itachi have? Microscopic polyneo. What? Itachi illness. The disease that killed Itachi. What was the uh, cause of death of Itachi? Uh, Tachi was the result of the terminal illness that he had been suffering for some time. The illness was the direct result of extensive use of his Sharingan and Mangekyo Sharingan abilities. Okay. Um, that, okay, did they, could he have been cured? Explained in Naruto, Jin Yuraiden novel to be caused by Tachi waking as a rare side effect instead of waking happening. He had eye drifts to subside for a while, but he had an incomplete version of the mess and so it wasn't cured. Okay, so whatever disease it was, it was a complication of the Mangekia. That's interesting. And it was a rare complication. Like, this was not something that normally happens. With, normally, you'll go blind with enough use of a Mangekio, But this is not something that normally happens with a Mangekio. So he had a rare complication. Uh, either way, Itachi says, yes, I'm dying, Sasuke. If you want, to come, if you want your revenge, you better come find me. And so here, Sasuke doesn't have, by the way, the lover. He's just out on his balcony, wakes up. And he now has the choice. Do I tell if and come alone? Uh, and so he has the choice. Let them know Tachi has contacted me. Or do I do I continue on without without letting them know? And that will be the test for next episode. Now, generally speaking, he tells someone, maybe I'll change it up. Nothing wrong with changing it up. Uh, maybe I won't. Just my choice. But join us next Monday for part 11. We are, this is right around the time where I try to give my prediction for when we're going to wrap this up. We're going to do the Itachi part next week, as well as probably the aftermath of Itachi, and maybe even going into the invasion of Okonawa with pain. That would lead us into the Ninja War. 
I'm guessing th two to three uh, chapters left of this particular what if. Anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks later. Have a good one.